In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the most unstoppable passing concepts in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the bunch tight in formation. Now, I'm actually in the Detroit playbook today. We're going to be taking a look at the Detroit Lions playbook. The reason why is because it has several of the offensive ebooks that I've released so far this year. It has trips tight in, it has bunch, it has tight, it has uh, some five wide stuff as well that is really effective. Uh, and then it also has the bunch tight end. So this is the best playbook, in my personal opinion, to be able to merge a lot of the things that I've taught over the course of the season. If you want to get my full bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. The link is in the description to sign up for that. You'll get all those ebooks I also talked about. We got three different bunches. We got um, you know trips tight end. We got two different trips tight end breakdowns. Or, or versions of the offense, as well as several uh, pieces on uh, gun tight this year. So again, if you want to get access to that, uh, the link is down in the description below. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and like I said, it gets you access to everything, so it's a great deal for you guys. Um, so if you want to check it out, again, link's in the description. Uh, but what I wanted to talk about today is the play X-Spot, and the reason why I think X-Spot is such an important piece um, of the bunch tight end formation is because it has a specific corner route that is really, really good. This, if you take a look here, I'm going to audible to the play mesh. You're going to see that this corner, this corner route's not bad by any means. It's kind of like the X spot corner. But if you look at the play X spot, you get this really nice corner route from Chris Godwin. You also get this double move route by Otten uh, in the middle of the field, which you can do some cool stuff with that as well. Uh, but from a setup perspective, short side is best because you can flood zones really easy to the short side. So we're going to run a, a short side concept here. And uh, all we're going to do is we're just going to streak Mike Evans. And from there, you know, you can do whatever else you want. You can run your running back on a wheel. You could block your running back. Um, you know, there's a lot you can do with this play. I really like this double move in the middle of the field for man coverage. If they are wanting to run some man coverage, uh, this double move is really good. One of the things I think is really underrated is something like this. Some underneath meshing concepts I think are really effective for man coverage. So you can kind of freestyle out of this play. The main route is Godwin's route, and we'll show you why this is so good. You see there, it just gets really nice separation. Whether it's cover four or cover three is irrelevant. So I'll show you here. This is going to be a baseline and press cover four. You might see this you know, if you're playing some high-level players that are wanting to run dollar now. Um, what you'll see is that this outside quarter will never play that as long as you have a streak. And again, it is really important that you run this to the short side of the field. If I was to run this to the wide side of the field, it would not work the same. Okay, so please keep that in mind. As long as I'm here to the short side of the field, you're going to see that this is going to be very consistent. This corner route is going to get separation, um, you know, against pretty much anything that they're going to do. Now, again, like I said, you know, you could do whatever you want underneath as well. Um, I actually really like this quick throw uh, flat. I think this flat gets out there pretty decently. Uh, so I would recommend, you know, keeping this flat. And then, you know, you could do a concept like this on the backside. You could do a curl. You could do, you know, you know, something like this. You know, there's all kinds of things that you can do on the backside of this. Uh, I actually think this concept is really underrated this year. This quick out to the tight end with this curl to the back. I think these two plays, um, you know, really can attack zone well. But let me show you the rest of the coverages. So cover three, you're going to see here that this corner right on the left should always be there for you. It should literally never get guarded. If they are to the short side, if they're the wide side, then you know, you're going to have a little bit of a different dilemma. You're going to have to motion out the streak. But what you'll see here, this is cover two. Um, if you high point this, it should get over the top of the cloud, as you can see right there. So we've been able to attack every zone coverage that you're going to face, which leaves man to man. And that's why I said, you know, one of the things that I like to do is on the underneath, have, you know, some different types of man beaters. Uh, underneath for example this little double move to Otten you'll see right here um, it does take a little too long to develop for me but it can beat man over the middle but another variation of thing that you could do would be an in route in a um, an in route in a wheel is really good against man this year so you'll see here this in route and then the wheel the wheel you can high point um, and what I would recommend is actually free forming it and high pointing it to the outside. So what you'll see is we're gonna basically high point this away from the defender. 
So you see here, freeform in high ball right, and you would be surprised at how consistent that actually gets caught. Now again, if you wanted if you wanted a little bit more for man specifically, then I would I would recommend doing something like this. Um, you know, I think this right here is actually a really good variation of this play, specifically for man coverage. Whenever you put a crossing route on the field, it almost always gets separation. You saw the slant was wide open there. But the main route on this play against man-to-man -man is also the corner route. This corner route is really good against man, as you can see right there. It's going to be able to beat man and zone. Um, and then the flat route is actually super underrated. So, especially if you have set feet lead, the way this aligns really well for us, we could do something like this. What you'll see is this quick throw flat. Just quick throw it outside. You a lot of times will actually break that tackle. Um, but basically just quick throwing your flats against man coverage has always been really good uh, so far this year as long as you have set feet lead. So if you see something like this and you can quick throw that flat, just quick throw the flat, try to break a tackle, and uh, you'd be surprised at how many tackles you're going to break out of this as well. Uh, again, the running back and the tight end I think is a really good concept as well because if they go user the corner route, you know, now I've got something like that um, to that wheel over there on the right. I don't know why I'm overthrowing him so bad in the video, but if you, uh, this is also why I really like hot, tall running backs this year. So the taller the running back, really the better in my opinion, but, you know, because they're going to be able to make catches on that stuff. You know, but again, if you want to do something like this, this is definitely a, a, a decent little concept against man because your corner gets open, your running back route will get open, and then you'll see here this double move. A lot of times what you can do with the double move is you'll actually want to throw it on the first cut. So you'll see right here if I – basically he's going to cut outside. I want to anticipate that and kind of ag it uh, to the right side of the screen. So you, you can utilize that against man. And then again, like I said, if you put the running back on an in route um, – you know, this can make it really good. You see right there, see how I'm agging that? Um, that could be a potential option for you. But again, you know, if you want to, you know, do something like, actually a block and release drag is pretty underrated in this game. Uh, a trail route, if you have tight end apprentice, you can do whatever you want on the right side, whatever you want. Um, but this kind of, because again, you gotta understand, they're gonna use her, they're gonna use her the corner. They have no, they basically have to use her the corner. Um, unless they're doing some really glitchy, you know, different types of adjustments, they're probably going to use the corner. So by utilizing this quick throw drag here or quick throw in route, it's going to make it even better. So as you can see, bunch tight end gives you some really good options against man and zone. This t uh, play X spot is really good for a lot of different reasons. Um, you know, you could run a concept like this where you have that, that um, corner route becomes a post over the middle. And you can attack coverage that way as well. Uh, so there's a lot you could do with this formation. I think this is a very underrated passing formation this year. People just are kind of sleeping on it, in my opinion. You know, literally something simple like this is really, really good. You know, just these simple mesh plays this year. This route is probably the most important route in any offense this year, having this corner route. And so the bunch tight end, as long as it has that, you can kind of build around it. And because of its ability to attack man and zone consistently, as well as, um, you know, the routes that you can put around it as well. So anyways, um, if you want to check out my bunch tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. And remember, it gets you access to everything, all of our ebooks, all the updates to the ebooks and any new ebooks that we release. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.